Falcom Punch! Yes! What's going on guys? It's Falcon Punch bringing you some more Tales of Asperia. Let's go ahead and get our first battle done as soon just like every other session we've done. I was told that this the Abyssian Sword doesn't become really good till after you beat the Duke, but that was only speculation. I have actually have to double check myself just because, well, you know, things aren't always the way you want it to be. And, but what I mean by that is like, you know, sometimes there are times where things should be better as far as like how a game should go. Anyway. So we last left off, you know, doing some side quests, and we're gonna go ahead and head over to Nordapolica. Get, I think it was a stone ward. That's what we were missing to hand over to the ant lion kid. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm pretty sure Nordapolica is right over this way, which I am correct about. And let's climb down. Head on inside. So, all we need to do is go up to the store, get a stone ward, and then we'll be on our way out. But, I want to take this time to go ahead and say, I apologize for not having Zelda up lately. Um, I don't even think it's really that missed, so that's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, what I would like to say is, you know, lately, I feel as if the support for the videos has been kind of kind of getting stale as far as like how many people are actually you know taking their time or whatever to just take leave a quick little like if they're watching or like leaving like a nice little comment I do read every comment and it really makes me happy whenever people do comment so if you do you know watch these videos and you really like the series please you know take some time to leave a like or a comment it really shows the support for these videos and it also helps them. I'm not gonna lie, it helps them to, you know, reach more viewers. Which, you know, every YouTuber wants. You know, a broader audience, a nicer audience that'll, you know, connect with the YouTuber. And, you know, it's just like that. Also, the same goes for, you know, the live streams that I do, you know. There are a great num. There's a you know a few number of people that come by every single time. They always chat it up. There's always like some sort of conversation going, and I really think that you know I really am thankful for those people who stop by, leave you know little thoughts here and there, and then talk to the other crew members. And it's a good place to get to know each other. So let's go ahead, talk to the sand lion kid. Dingy doggy, I'm Cows. You can call me K Wizzle for short. Heidi ho. Ah, you're back again. You just can't get me off your mind, eh? I'm getting tired of hearing your rambling. What's got your bridges in a bunch, Flatty? Okay, I've had enough about our. I've had about enough of your crap. You trying to start something? Hey, lay off, Rita. I don't much feel like seeing a cat fight break out between a couple of kids. A kid? Who's a kid? I'm grown up and glorious. This guy is so awesome. Uh, you sure about that? You look like a kid to me. You're tiny. You're one to talk, you swooshy haired midget. <laughs> swooshy haired midget. Now for the main event. Today's item du jour is da dum da dum da dum dum. Poison ward, paralyzed ward, and stone ward. That should be paralysis ward. I don't understand. Why is it up to three items all of a sudden? Hmm, why don't you keep your nosy little questions to yourself, Little Miss Innocent? Little Miss Innocent? What does that mean? Ignorance is bliss, honey, and what you don't know won't hurt you. I'm guessing he's calling her a virgin. So then, whenever it's convenient for you, feel free to hand them over. You'll give up something nice in exchange, right? Sure, sure, don't worry about it. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Thanks. Round and round we go. Where we stop? Only I know. It's that guy again. Here you go. Oh me, oh my. Thank you again. Oh ho. <laughs> 
I don't know if I'll ever get used to seeing that thing pop out of there. I don't blame you, that's just messed up. So we gave you three things, now what'll you give us? Ah, right. Today I'm gonna give you Hamina Hamina? Hamina Jamina, I guess. Here you go. Obtain Flare Cape. Three times. D three of the same thing? Isn't that enough? You want me to give you more? Who'd want a bunch of copies of the same thing? Really? But I thought that they'd come in handy out in the desert. Yes! Yay! We're so happy! Right, Carol? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. Oh boy, too happy for words. Oh, good. Well, keep them safe. See you later. Ding! Okay. That was... that was interesting. Let's leave. <laughs> so, our next spot is... Well, Yumanju. It's a little hot spring that we're going to be going to. It's on the northwestern continent in the forest, so it's a little bit difficult to see. So we're going to have to make ourselves, you know, kind of certain to see if we can find it or not. We'll make sure to travel through everything and find ourselves the right place because as it stands right now we don't even have a lot of this continent you know uncovered and let's see should actually hold on yeah this should this is around where it should be so let's see uh, hmm I think it's like right around down here. Maybe. No? Can't really find it. Honestly, you can't really come here to do much without 3,000 gold. So. Or not 3,000, but 3. 300,000, I think, was it. Here it is. Also, I was asked a question why I don't use repeat or whatever to do the multi-scan and let me see if I even have that skill scanning yeah I do actually okay so I'll use repeat from now on just in case but let's go ahead and check this hot spring out see what's you know a foot hmm hello fine visitors and welcome to the Umanja hot spring spa Hey, what is this place? You know, there wouldn't be a JRPG without like a Japanese like looking place. Sir, you have arrived at Yumanju Hot Spring Spa, home of the finest open air baths that Turk Lumeris has to offer. The Yumanju Springs are famous the world over. What's an open air bath? It's a hot spring where you go outside to take a bath and relax. Take a bath outside? I've never heard of anything like that. Or like it. I think you'll find that it feels quite nice and liberating, too. I just get in the bathtub and hop right out as soon as I'm clean. Who cares how nice it is? Yuri, it's best for your body if you soak for a while and relax. Open air baths, huh? Sounds like quite a sight to see. I wonder what it feels like to sit in them. Oh wow, this sounds great. I want to go in. I think it sounds like quite a sight to see, too, if you know what I mean. Wink! <laughs> Can we go in? Unfortunately, you cannot. You cannot. What? Why can't we go in, you big meanie? I assure you I am not a meanie. The bass is simply being cleaned right now. Seriously? What a tease. Let's come back next time we get a chance. I am terribly sorry. We look forward to your next visit. Okay. Surveyor's Guild World Cellar. Uh... Blah blah blah. Oh, that's the antlion guy. Clank, clank, clank. Toss in the corner and out comes a drink. Sure. Stone bottle. Oh, I can't get enough of these hot springs. Oh, they feel so good. How come she's allowed in? Welcome to your mountain's gift shop, Bubble Babbles. Please have a look around. Sure. 
Uh, we'll just get some food, because, you know, we haven't cooked in a while. Get a couple bananas, oranges, kiwis, don't really know what else we can make with that. Napa cabbage, shiitake mushrooms. And that's all we can really get. That's good for us. Let's see what we can synthesize. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so he's already learned everything for the Masakiri Cleaver. Do we want Overlimit Bonus or Void Attack? Hmm. We'll go with this one. And then... Bardish. Don't care. We already have that. Let's see. Oh, what is this? Come on, staff. Hmm, I'm missing an ape man coat. Not that important. And we're missing Yurzo fruits, which we get from. Where do we get it from? You know, you could tell us where we get it from, that would be nice. Huh. Where do I get this Yurzo fruit from? Thanks, game. Always a pleasure. Mm. I already have one. Never mind. Let's see. I already have one of these. And I could get it, but I'm gonna see what else we can get. Still need eight man coats and silver ores. I'll probably have to go and look for them soon. Dun dun dun. I already have all of these. Hi. <sighs> okay. Never mind. We need to find certain materials, but don't worry about that. We'll come back later to Yumanja Spring, once we have like 300,000 gold. Anyways... Um... Right now we're gonna go back to Mount Temza. That was stupid of me to run into a rock. Alright... Let's go. It's another little side quest that we're gonna be doing. And... Do. Just right down this way. So we've almost completed everything on the map. Let's go ahead and check if we need to take a take a rest somewhere. Hmm. I think we do. Let's see if we can land somewhere down here. We're gonna need to get into a fight though, so let's fight this guy. It's an oversized we mushroom. Should really enjoy these little times together. Uh, let's see. Magic lends them all. Even though there's only one of them. Hopefully that only use one magic lens, otherwise I'm gonna be mad. Come on. Man. Nice. Oh, we got an eight-man code out of that. Anyway, time to take our rest with the mat. Pee all over the place. Repeat, please. Do your work. And away we go. Let's see. World map, dog map, nope, dog map, there we go. Still haven't peed end up in that little area, but... Whatever, we're going to Mount Temza. Right now we've got a pretty substantial lead over that mangy mutt. And yeah. Climb on down. Any day now. There we go. Mount Temza we go. 
So there's supposedly we can destroy some obstacles now Never since we have a different easier, sorcery. No how many times I come. Oh, sorry about that. He was talking. Bad memories of the Great War. Yeah, there are those too. Uh, what are you? I mentioned I had a friend that liked this flower, right? My friend is here. Why would you have a friend here? You mean a friend from the Knights? Some waste their lives while they're alive. Others waste their lives by dying too soon. Your friend died in the Great War. Yeah, humans. What a sad bunch. Oh, I didn't realize. Way better knight than me. Always use the family's famed bow. Man, such a brave knight. I never did find out what happened to that bow. Maybe it's still somewhere here in this field. Could be. Finding it would be pretty tough, though. <sighs> Thought maybe if I just bummed around, Casey'd get mad enough to come back, but, uh... <laughs> That's so sad. Hey, hey, hey! Don't go getting all gloomy on me. What are you talking about? You're the one who started this sob fest. I, uh... Sorry. Anyway, rest well, Casey. I know you're in a better place. Hey! Something's falling out of the sky! Huh? What is it? Oh, you gotta be kidding. So, what is it? This was Casey's favorite compact. But how... The ghost of your friend must be watching over you. Ghost? That's impossible. It was just a coincidence. You call this a coincidence? Like, maybe a bird picked it up and then dropped it by mistake. Yeah, that's gotta be it. So, was this Casey friend of yours a woman? Woman? What? Oh, <laughs> a lady from the old man's past? Now, Rita, remember your blood pressure. Oh, come on. I want all the juicy details. Sorry, there ain't much. For starters, another guy already had his heart set on her. A tale of unrequited love, then? A love on war's fickle sea. A lady gone too soon. Oh, such a tragedy. Okay, that's enough. You guys go ahead and think what you like, though. Here's to you, Casey. I'm doing okay with these kids here. I'm doing okay. Okay. So that was interesting. Let's go ahead and look for this bow. 